When the Ringe Dam was built in Malibu Creek in the 1920s, an environmentalist was behind the project. But modern experts say it's actually horrible for the environment, mm -hmm. and they want it removed. In tonight's Look at This, KCAL 9's Desmond Shaw has more details. Well, take a look at this dam in Malibu Creek. This is the Ringe Dam, completed in 1926. Took about two years to build by workers hired by a woman who was known as the Queen of Malibu. That was May Night Ringe. Hard to believe, but back then, Malibu was basically all private property that was controlled by one family, the Ringe family. Now, this dam is about 100 feet high, and notice how it is built by incorporating this natural rock monolith that was right here in the middle of Malibu Creek. Pretty rare to see something like this. It was built basically as a water supply for agriculture, but began to fill up with sediment by the 1940s. It's estimated now that there could be as much as 780,000 cubic yards of sediment sitting behind this dam. And, you know, she was known as a real staunch environmentalist, May Night Ringe, but this really has not been good for the environment. She fought for uh, against the construction of railroad through Malibu, also fought the construction of PCH. But this dam has been catastrophic for the steelhead trout population. They're not able to get from Malibu Lagoon to their natural spawning grounds in the upper reaches of the Malibu Creek watershed because of this dam. And it's for that reason that this dam is one of the top targets for removal by environmentalists, along with Matillaha Dam in Ojai. So this dam is now part of Malibu Creek State Park. It's been in disrepair for decades. In fact, it was actually declared off limits to the public in 2014. And it seems that the Coastal Commission has finally endorsed a plan to remove this dam, a plan by the Army Corps of Engineers. It will cost about $100 million to not just deconstruct the dam, but also get all that sediment out of here. A lot of it would be put downstream and and a lot of it would actually be deposited into the Ventura Harbor. If they are going to do that, uh, construct deconstruction could start in 2025, and it's estimated it would take about eight years to restore this uh, environment for our steelhead trout population. Thanks to Bowen Liang for telling me to check this out. And taking a look at this from Sky 9, I'm Desmond Shaw. Wow. If you'd like Desmond to take a look at something interesting in your neighborhood, write us at lookatthis at cbs.com.